Have you ever heard of morning sickness so severe that it lands women in hospital? I am not talking about a bit of nausea. I'm talking about relentless vomiting, dehydration, and even organ stress throughout your pregnancy. Scientists are onto something. They've finally figured out why it may happen. And it all comes down to a single hormone. Assalamualaikum, my name is Dr. Adnan Azad. I'm a medical doctor and a pharmacist working here in the UK. Today, we're diving into something that affects up to 3% of pregnancies worldwide. But this is a topic that is often dismissed as just bad morning sickness. It's called high premises gravidarum or HG for short. And no, it's not just in someone's head or it's a, a slightly severe form of morning sickness. For decades, we haven't quite understood the root cause. So doctors would prescribe anti-sickness tablets, hydration, and quite a lot of times hospital admission, but we didn't fully understand what was causing this. Well, with a recent study, that might be changing. So what is HG? It's an extreme form of nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. It can last throughout the nine months. It's far worse than the typical morning sickness that many people experience. So the two get mixed up. We're talking vomiting more than three to four times a day. Inability to keep food or fluids down. Patient ends up getting severe hydration, major weight loss, and in some cases, kidney dysfunction, electrolyte imbalances, or even hot, hot. major weight loss, and in some cases, kidney dysfunction, electrolyte imbalances, or if the patient's worsened and ends up getting admitted, causes a huge mental health toll. Many women report feeling hopeless, anxious, and isolated. It affects quality of life, it affects relationships, and in rare cases, women may even consider terminating their pregnancy because of this condition. It's not well understood. You can imagine how difficult it is for the patient to explain what is going on. Now, the scientists have discovered a new hormone. And here's where it gets interesting. Growing body research is now pointing towards a hormone called GDF-15. So that is short for growth differentiation factor 15. GDF-15 isn't new. We've known about it for a while, especially in cancer research and appetite regulation. But its role in pregnancy has come under spotlight only recently. A groundbreaking study in 2023 has shown that GDF-15 is strongly linked to high premises gravidarum. In fact, pregnant women with extremely high levels of GDF-15 were far more likely to experience the symptoms of HG. And here's a fascinating bit. GDF-15 is produced by the placenta and it's received by a specific receptor in your brainstem. This is an area which is responsible for nausea and vomiting. Essentially, the body's response to this hormone is what causes the vomiting reflex. Why do some pregnant women suffer from hyperemesis gravidarum and some don't. Well, it turns out genetics may play a role. Some people are far more sensitive to GDF-15 because of the inherited traits. So when GDF-15 levels rise during pregnancy, which is totally normal, some women's brains react more aggressively to the increased levels of hormone. And that's what leads to full-blown HG symptoms. What's even more compelling is that women who have previously been exposed to high levels of GDF-15 before pregnancy, for example, in certain chronic illnesses, they seem to have less severe symptoms when pregnant. It's as if prior exposure to GDF-15 makes a body more tolerant. This study gives a huge insight because it opens up a door to potential preventive treatments in the future. Imagine being able to predict who's at risk before pregnancy and even train the body to tolerate this hormone better. Of course, this doesn't mean after reading this study, we've cracked it entirely, but it's a major shift in our understandings, especially as doctors when we're dealing with this. So for years, I've seen it myself. HG was often dismissed or minimized. And some women were even told to just, I've heard it myself. They were told to get on with it, which doesn't help. And it doesn't show any empathy. At least now we know that this is biological. This is a hormonal and it's real. In terms of treatment, there's no new additions. They're still working on it. At the moment, as doctors, what we give anti-nausea medications like Odantatron or Metoclopramide, but they don't always work and they're not targeting the root cause. The hope now is that future therapies can focus specifically on this hormone, blocking its action, or at least modulating the body's response to it. Few biotech companies are already exploring this through animal studies, and some have shown that blocking the GDF-15 receptor in the brain reduces vomiting. Okay, but human trials are obviously still needed. One one thing before I go is I want to emphasize 
high-premises Gravidorum is not psychological. I've seen this firsthand. I do feel sorry for ladies that have been through this because this condition is not well known amongst healthcare professionals. And when a pregnant lady is in need, and she wants people to understand what she, she's going through. People just don't get it. And that is frustrating for that patient. We can officially say it's not psychological. It's not a reflection of someone being weak or being dramatic. It's a serious biological response and it's driven by placental signals. So if you or someone you know is going through it, seek medical help. See a GP first. It's really bad. Really feel really low. Go straight to A&E. Stay hydrated. No, watch the symptoms and don't be afraid to advocate for yourself, okay? Go to a &E, ask for help. Go to his GP, ask for help. We're all here to help. We're not here to judge. And if you're a partner or a friend or a colleague, just please understand that HG is not just morning sickness. It's debilitating. I've seen patients almost die because of this condition. Patients who go through this need to know there is support. Um, and just by family and friends knowing this and being aware of this, they can offer... Just the support that you offer alone can make a massive difference in this pregnancy. So to wrap this up, for the first time in decades, we may finally be on the verge of truly understanding what causes high premises gravidarum. A single hormone, GDF-15, could be the key. More research is needed. And with that understanding comes hope. Comes hope in this, in this sector. And with that understanding within this area, there comes hope. Hope for better care, hope for targeted treatment, and above all, hope that we start taking women's symptoms seriously in this area. If this video helped, give it a like, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. Inshallah, see you for the next video. Take care. Asalaamu Alaikum.